Have you ever been to Monterey at midnight? Potpourri, work your magic. Oh! Hey, Ryan. What's up, buddy? Hey, Jeff. Hey, how are you? What's ya? up, buddy? Good to see you. Good hey. to see you. I uh, didn't know you guys were going to be here yet, but uh, you, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and talk about Monterey at midnight? <laughs> Absolutely. Do you know what that is, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's it, it became my favorite color scheme, which for the first time, I think it was probably two years ago, uh, when the Keystone Bullets, and this is the Bullet 1900 RD, fantastic couples coach. We're under 3,500 pounds on this one. That's correct. And we're under 22 feet long correct. on this one. But this is an entry-level coach that has a beautiful midnight Monterey-themed decor. Yes, with the, with the uh, bronze handles. I got to tell you, the first time I saw it, our, our buddy Mike, I was like, dude, what is this? It took me forever. I kept getting it wrong. I kept calling it like... Uh, you know, m m monkey rays. I mean, it was I was all over the place with it, Jeff. I, I could not get it right to save my life. But I have to tell you, it stands out. And for people who enjoy style, who people who enjoy, you know, this is really cool because you have the wood grain. It's this deep blue with the bronze pulls, as well as the white and gray mixed in. And then you throw in this beautifully, and this is lighter than what you guys did last year. I love the flooring. Uh, and this is the upgraded fiberglass. This is the polypropylene laminated fiberglass that's correct it's both yeah floor, so yeah. so yeah yeah both floors. so you have the the nice moisture barrier in the back the bullet line and this is the bullet crossfire that's correct these to me seem to be a sweet spot for that couple who's looking for the first rv but wants an upgraded experience or we we, we got into entry-level camping we're ready for an upgrade but we don't want to break the bank and i kind of feel like that's what you guys did this year with the new crossfires absolutely it has a contemporary themed look and it's loaded with features. And again, it's all packed into under 22 feet, mm -hmm. 3,500 pounds. So you wow. don't need a big truck to pull this. You can do it with a even a lighter weight mm -hmm. uh, duty SUV or full size SUV. Nice. I love. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you? Since we're right here, why don't we start up front with our sure. east to west bed and let's talk about the front cab. Ryan, I'll step out the way. So and sit we right back have in. the you know the queen bed up here in the in the corner, mm -hmm. and then we have our three overhead cabinets with our nice magnetic poles. I love the decor on that. Front we, cap too. we accent the wall here in the front just to break up the look and give it a little bit of a classy look. Mm -hmm. You have a full shirt or wardrobe closet over here, a nightstand underneath here, and it does come complete with a 12 volt uh, USB charger as oh, nice. well as a 110 outlet. If you have a CPAP or uh, any kind yes. of electronic device that yes. you need to, to store just underneath under. here, it's perfectly uh, suited for that. Now, I, I know in years past, one of the more, more popular parts about the things the Keystones have made uh, is the solar flex option, um, which is great. But for some people, it wasn't right. And you guys changed that this year. What'd you do? So in the this uh, Crossfire edition, we have actually made this with solar flex prep. Okay. So what that means is you don't have to worry about wiring anything. But if you wanted to add solar panel, solar chargers, um, inverters, all of it is pre-wired so that it can easily be upgraded. Um, it's It's got a roof port. It has the ports already built into the pass-through storage. There are six outlets inside of here that are inverted so that if you wanted to put an inverter on board and run it off 12 volt power, you certainly can do that. I love that. Absolutely yeah. love it. And we got storage under my queen size bed. Yep. You have yep. storage that lifts up right here underneath here. You can see the nice welded aluminum frame that we use. I'm a fan. Um, I'm so, a yeah. fan. I'm a fan. And then, as all right, you, so yeah, you upgraded my kitchen experience too. Here, as you work your way into the kitchen, you've got the two burner cooktop. Right. You've got the microwave oven, mm -hmm. fully vented range hood. I know that seems like a little thing, but it is nice because if you are cooking bacon or yep. fish or something in here, it can quickly evacuate the smells yep. and, and not smell up your camper. And the steam. Yeah, and Which the steam. Big. And then you can big. see all the storage underneath there. I mean, check yeah. out all these doors underneath this, is this huge. alley. So yeah, you got a good spot for trash cans. I got a huge sink up here with the high rise faucet. I pressed, or I got the, yeah, I got the, the countertop. I like the extended edge here, but I got to tell you what I really like. I'm used to seeing the Suburban two burner cooktops, but they're on top. Sure. Taking away a little bit of the prep space. 
you gave me the tempered glass cover, not only increasing my prep space, but protecting my cooktop as well. Absolutely. I like that a lot. Uh, extended space over here, a sink that's a good grief. I could probably lay in. <laughs> that thing is you huge. Bathe your, your dog. <laughs> that's right. Absolutely. Hideaway hinges. Hideaway oh, hinges doors. with tons of galley storage. Man, uh, overhead storage. We didn't skimp anywhere. No. Well, and not only that, you maximize the space. I'm used to seeing like panels, mm -hmm. not just storage. So having that to me is is important because I'm maximizing the space, the use of kind of like what you did down here with the extension off the kitchen. I like the lip here. I like this because I could put coffee maker, air fryer, toaster, whatever that appliance is that you don't want to take up this, you know, precious real estate over here, you've got the extra space for it there. My Conair hair dryer. You're 100% <laughs> right. Up top is going to be my TV on the extension arm. I love that because I got the, the uh, connection there as well as an inverted outlet. Uh, up above that's going to be my high output AC uh, with the quick cool dump. I'm a fan of those. Uh, we got our GE 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. Love these with the travel lock because look at the space. No sacrifices in the amount of storage for, for what you need to take with you on your camping trip. No, I mean, and, and we're going to get to the back here in a minute. But first, yeah, check out this I, bathroom. Yes, this right here. I, uh, I haven't been in here yet. You guys, right? Yeah, no, nah, sorry, I was in here and everybody walked in. But look at the space that I have. I got the vent and fan here. I got the shower surround, corner notches, so my soap, my shampoos, my shower nozzle there. Uh, I do have the curtain and the oversized vanity counter. Jeff, this is one of those things that I tell people, once again, you don't know how much you're gonna use it or how nice it is until you have it. Having that extra space when you got another loved one in here, toothbrushes, cups, stuff like that. It's fantastic to have mirrored medicine cabinet, high rise plastic bowl with a foot flush. It is the, the standard couples coach layout, the rear dining mm -hmm. layout. But you guys did something special back here that I absolutely love. Let's, yeah, let's talk about these windows. So the panoramic view from back here is perfect. Whether you're backing up on a beach, mm -hmm. whether you're at a lake, a river, whatever that view might be. Let's face it, people go camping to enjoy the outdoors. Yeah, right. Yeah. So let's let them see it. <laughs> and all the windows open. Absolutely. Everything is vented. So picture this, you and your loved one, you might not like to fish, but maybe you go fishing, maybe you go hunting, maybe you're just going out to the beach. You come back, you're sitting here, you just made, it could be a BLT sandwich, whatever. Yeah. It could be pancakes, you know. You're sitting here with that loved one. These cushions are plush and comfortable. I got plenty of room for more than two people, mm -hmm. but we're having a great conversation. We're laughing about the things we did today. And then I look up and I see a seagull flying by. You can't get that. From. Enjoy the sunset. Sunset. I look over here and it's the ocean. I look behind me. It's grandma's house, whatever it may be. Right on. I can look and see it. And we're making those memories that you're not going to know when you're doing it until years later. And that's what, to me, RVing is all about. And that's what I love. That's what makes me get goosebumps about it. Yeah. Storage above your head. Yep. Plenty so of that. Two storage there. And you have a full size pantry. Here in this affordable unit with the adjustable shelf. Oh, it's got adjustable shelf. Okay, so it could double. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got plenty of space. I got to tell you, for for what I know, bullet and bullet crossfire to be, you, you came to me and you said, "Hey, we got a new model coming out. It's gonna be it's gonna be a sweeter price point. We've got more. We've streamlined how we did everything. We're gonna make it ready for that couple that wants to go camp and get the first time camper, not pay the first time. You know, pay at a much lower price, not for aluminum fiberglass side. Blah, blah. I mean, I was oh snap. Okay, blah blah blah. It's going to be missing the roof AC. It's going to be missing the TV. It's going to be missing. The, it's going to be missing this. You're not missing if you, anything. If you have windows, they may not open. If you have, you may not yeah. have a furnace. No, you're not yeah. going to have a full size refrigerator. No, you guys do tankless water heater. I mean, tons of features. I, I don't know how you guys are doing it right now, Jeff. This is, uh, this is actually kind of, this is taking me back a little bit. I love it. I absolutely love it for an active couple that's looking to get out, but you want some features of home and you don't want to break the bank. I gotta tell you the 1900 RD is cooking so far. Yeah, all right, let's go check out the outside. I gotta tell you the tankless water heater, I'm a fan of that. Oh, and we didn't even mention that oversized U-shaped dinette, you got storage underneath there too. It does reduce down into a sleeper so you can get, what, four people inside of this one fairly yeah. comfortably, fairly easily. Very comfortably. And tempered glass door. I love this. And you guys put a thin shade in there too. Yes, it comes uh, 
it comes equipped with the thin shade. So you're gonna added privacy if, or if you need to cut even a little more sun out. That's actually really cool. I, I like how that's added in because it, it, it is privacy glass. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's like one way, uh, but it's gonna help not only with keeping the RV a little bit cooler, uh, this just looks cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Steel steps. So, okay, I'm used to seeing the solid steps. This is what you're talking about with, you know, coming down to price point a little bit. Just a little yeah. extra affordability. Kind of like going back to the classic thing. Absolutely. Because the, uh, the classic, well, not even just three or four years ago, we didn't have Solar Flex. We had Solar Prep. Correct. So I got you. Okay, Solar Flex ready. I love that. 1900 RD. We got 11 foot on the awning. Is that right? That's correct. This is a power awning with mm -hmm. the light strip. I like so, the LED yeah. light. Easy it, in, easy out. Adjustable pitch. And then over here for my storage, I got finished off pass through storage. Uh, and I got the magnetic lock clasp. I like this. It's a whole lot better than just the plastic clip. And even though the magnetic are good, I have knocked my head a couple of times with those. So having yeah, so this. It has the positive latch on that magnet. Yeah. Big fan of that. It's front and rear stabilizer jacks. Front and rear stabilizer jacks are included on every single Crossfire. Okay. Uh, in RVs of the size, I'm used to seeing it without front. So, so that's nice. Correct. That's very nice. Uh, Dexter Easy Lube Axle. 14 inch rim, inverted outlet here. So if I do get the solar flex, which you probably should get a great little feature, sealed safety windows all the way around. I think that's like an 80% tin on those as well. Yes, that is the dark tin on those. You have the completely enclosed underbelly. Nice. Um, and all of our tanks are below the floor and they have really nice capacity, especially for a unit this size. That, that's really good for going off the grid. And well, I mean, with a tankless water heater, that's really good. Yes. And for a couples coach, that's really, really good. <laughs> you don't want a, an angry wife. That's right. You don't want to walk, run out of hot water. All right, so I got my spare tire on the back, sewer hose. I like how you put it in there as opposed to extending the camper a little bit uh, and having the bumper back there. So I do like that feature. Yep. Um, and I got storage over here. Okay. So that, that dinette underneath the dinette has yeah. storage on the inside. And then if you remember, there was a little shelf on the on behind the dinette. Yep. This yep, is yep. the extra storage that exists below it. I like that. Detachable power cord. Oh, that's deeper than I thought it was too. See, we got a little light. How about yep. that? That's actually really good for like your roller bag or if like you need to put some- Your bag chairs in there. Yeah, absolutely. Ab absolutely, that's great. Yep, detachable cord from a 30 amp. Cable connection here, fiberglass. Now this, you guys also put the coating on this too, right? Yes, this is a little bit uh, higher gloss than just your standard fiberglass side. Okay, so and, and that helps not only with uh, the sheen, that also is gonna help keep the graphics from fading. Keep over the graphics time. from fading, and it also is, makes it a little easier to clean. The smoother the finish, the easier, easier it is to clean. to clean. Okay, Yep. other side of my pass through storage, right beside that is gonna be my tankless water heater. I <laughs> love that. City water connection, fresh tank fill, and oh, you got your prep down there. Everything is pre-wired, so you don't have to tear your unit apart if you want to upgrade to a, sol a full solar package. I, I like that that's just an option because it, it is nice to have, don't get me wrong, it's very nice to have. It's great to triple ch trickle charge those batteries, run some of the inverted outlets off of it. But a lot of people, when they get their camper, they just go to the campsite and plug it in. But if it is something that you're saying, you know what, w we might go off the grid, we would like to have it. Talk to your specialist at Camping World about getting it put in. Uh, we might even be able to add it to the financing if you're thinking about financing something like this. Just talk to the folks at Camping World and see what they can get done for you. We'll try to make it as easy as we possibly can. And then I like how you guys lay out the info panel. It's easy to read and easy to understand. Sometimes they will only have like the gross weights that the axle will carry. You guys give me the unloaded vehicle weight, which for this one is 3660. The gross vehicle weight, 4820. We're still under 4,900 pounds. Easy to see right there. And of course, I got my each axle and my tear yep. on there as well. That's great. Zamp Solar Quick Connect, battery disconnect, 20 pound LP tank, manual tongue jack here, mini diamond plate rock guard on the bottom, and of course that beautiful, is this still the Superflex? Or, or the, the seamless roof, is that still the seamless yes. roof? Yes, okay. it is. Yeah, I, just like, I just like I just like how it looks, man. It's bright, it's light. Yeah. The Chevron graphics are pretty cool. Um, quick connect for the Zamps. Trust me, that's one, get the briefcase, they're awesome. You can trickle charge that battery, but since they also put the C-Flow battery disconnect right here, if you want to trickle charge the battery without taking drain, or more importantly, without cutting the coach on, bam, you got it right there. Love it. Price point, I like. Features, 
I like more based on that. Uh, and the fact that this is, I'm not used to calling fiberglass entry level. Yeah, this is, uh, it, it's really something dynamic that we, we wanted to launch this year to get back to the affordable camping. I like it. You're giving people the option to go camping that maybe not had it before. Absolutely. Which, you know what, it's, it's not a knock, but it's about time. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you guys did it. So, and by the way, thank you guys for doing it. So if you're thinking to yourself, we're an active couple, we love those panoramic windows, the, the midnight Monterey decor. It, it, it looks good on camera. You got to see it in person. Please come check out the 1900 RD, 3,500 pounds dry. You're looking at 21 feet, 10 inches. 10 inches. Yep. Don't get a bigger truck so you can take your loved one out to the beach and you can pick this beauty up today at your local camping world. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like, what you not like. Is Jeff and his team on point with the changes they're making to try to get you camping? Give us the feedback so we can give it to them. The man who sets this up is right here. So if you like something or you don't like something, we can pass it along to them because our friends at Bullet, they love the feedback and they act on it. And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. So next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. Jeff Wagner, always good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for Appreciate doing this with that. us. You're and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.